Assalamualaikum and a very good day to our lecturer. That is Mr. Nur Halim bin Hasim. Today, my group and I are going to present uh, for our project uh, with the title of Link Budget Using GUI for the subject of BET for 803 Satellite Communication. Alright, uh, this group consists of five team members. The first one is Gayatri Anak Perempuan Sawarandan. The second one is Azim Damia binti Abdul Halim. The third one is me, myself, Muhammad Arish Ilman bin Rosli. And the fourth is Muhammad Mustaqin bin Mansur. And the last one is Nur Sarah bin Tiasan. Alright, I am the first presenter and I am going to present the objective of this project. Right, there are four objectives uh, for this project. The first one is design link budget using calculator. Design link budget calculator. The second one is to set parameter each link. And the third one is safety and legal issues. The last one is to display output link budget. Alright, I will pass this presentation to the next presenter. Uh, there is Nur Mesara Bintiasan. This flowchart explains the process of creating a link budget calculator by using MATLAB software. The first thing about designing the link budget calculator is to define the parameter of each link budget. Table 1 shows the basic transmission parameters for the basic link budget to be applied in the link budget calculator. In order to design the layout of the link budget calculator, the GUIDE, the GUI command, must be used. The second step is to design the MATLAB graphical user interfaces of the system. So this is our design of link budget calculator using GUI layout MATLAB toolbox. Once the link budget calculator is designed, the design interface will then be saved as .fig file. The design is then run. After the design is run, the program coding will be generated at the editor window. From the program coding, initially the program coding is not fully complete. This is because we need to insert the formula parameter for each push button that have been set. The formula can be inserted by referring to the table as stated before. Once the formula parameters are inserted, run the program coding. This program is designed to show all of the input and output parameters together on an active screen, which is the user interface. By successfully designing the GUI, users may now insert the input based on the chosen parameter. After that, the GUI system design is then calculated automatically based on the required link budget parameters. Finally, once the GUI system has calculated successfully, the output link budget values are displayed in the appropriate box by simply click on the Compute Push button. The output calculates the wavelength, EIRP, path loss, antenna aperture, effective aperture, flux density, transmitted gain, received gain, transmitted power, received power, carrier power to noise density ratio, and figure of merit. The result of the link budget calculator will be explained later by our next presenter, Azwin Damia. Thank you to my Sarah for explaining the whole process of the flowchart. So, uh, it is my turn to explain the results and the outputs for the link budget calculator using GUI. This is the frequency that we have already set, 1000 Hz. The wavelength is the 15 meter. Antenna diameter is 20, efficiency is 0 0.5, and it is unitless. The system temperature is 100 Kelvin, and then antenna aperture is 25 meter square. Effective aperture is 24 meter square. Satellite distance is 15,000 meter. Noise bandwidth is 34 hertz. EIRP is 10 dB, and then we also have the power transmitter. Uh, 23 dB, transmitter gain is 21 dB, power received is 24 dB, and the receiver gain is 15 dB, losses is 15 dB. The power converter that we insert here is 15, convert uh, will get 11.7609 dB. So after the data is already inserted in the box, okay, and then we finally uh, observe the output from the inserted data. For wavelength, we just need to click the compute and then the value will be displayed here. For wavelength, is 300,000 meter. Antenna aperture is 314.2 meter square. 
effective aperture is 12.5 meter square and then the flux density shows 1.70804 to the power of 7 watt per meter square path loss uh, we get is 81.9853 dB and then figure of merit is negative 85 dB per Kelvin and then the receiver gain is 1.27295 in dB power received is negative 53.6956 dB and then the transmitted gain is 21.1935 dB and then the power transmit that we get is 81.115 dB and then the EIRP is 26.8395 lastly is the carrier to noise ratio negative 38.85 dB next I will let Gayatri to show the comparison of calculation the link budget calculator uh, by using the manual calculation and also by using the GUI table which is the calculation value of theoretical value and the simulation value the wavelength for theoretical value and simulation value we get the same value which is 300,000 meter and the aperture value also we get the same value for theoretical and simulation value which is 314.2 meter square and effective aperture value of theoretical value and simulation value is same which is 12.5 meter square and also the flux density we get uh, for the theoretical value we get 1.78254 exponent negative 7 watt meter per square but for the simulation value we got 1.70804 exponent negative 7 watt meter per square and for the path loss uh, theoretical value the value which I we get is 82.7530 dB and for the simulation we get 81.9853 dB and the figure of merit value we get the same value for the theoretical and simulation which is negative 85 dB and for the power transmit we got almost same value which is 81.114 for the theoretical value and for the simulation value we get 81.115 dB and also the transmitter gain value for the theoretical value and simulation value we get almost similar value which is for theoretical we get 21.1924 dB and for simulation we got 21.1935 dB and the power receiver value is for theoretical we get negative 53.5102 dB and for the simulation value we get negative 53.6956 dB and the receiver gain value is 1.27238 for the theoretical value and 1.27295 dB for the simulation value and the effective isotropic radiated power value for the simulation is 26.8395 dB whereas for the theoretical value we got 27.0243 dB and the carrier power to noise density ratio for the theoretical value we get negative 37.5 dB and for the simulation in Q GUI we get negative 38.35 dB and this is the table of comparison table for the simulation value in GUI and the theoretical value that's all I pass to Mustakin. Hi and Assalamualaikum my name is Muhammad Mustakin Bimanso and lastly is for the conclusion of the assignment First is student have successfully have been able to design the desired link budget calculator using GUI layout MATLAB toolbox. Secondly is student were also able to set the parameter of each link budget. The third one is student were able to explain and determine the safety and legal issue when considering the link budget. And the lastly is student have managed to obtain the rec and record the correct calculated value output as shown in the link budget calculator. So that's all from us and thank you. Assalamualaikum. Thank you for your time.